Now to a story you'll only see on News 5. We've been reporting on animal cruelty cases for years, but one story you may not have heard is who has to pay for the care of the animals while the owner awaits trial. News 5's Lena Holland has an in-depth look at animal care bonds. She's live in studio with a closer look tonight. Lena. In animal cruelty cases, care bonds are what an owner is usually required to pay immediately after their animals are seized by animal law enforcement and before they are sent to trial. The state says it's up to the owner to bear the burden, but what happens if you are found innocent? No, Tonto, you are not coming out. For Penn and Gingrich, this is a typical Wednesday. You need grain, huh? And she's come a long way. It's now been more than a year since all 63 of her horses were taken away. We've got this connection, some of them we've had for up to 18 years. And and just to have them ripped away from you, it's, it's a terrible feeling. Facing animal cruelty charges, she was immediately slapped with a monthly bill of $360 per horse. That's more than $22,000 a month. I wasn't able to pay even a fraction of what they wanted. Colorado law does allow you to dispute the fine and ask for a different place to house the animals. But Gingrich's requests were denied. They said that because I couldn't pay that care bond, I lose ownership and they have the right to do whatever they wanted with those animals. 24 of her horses in healthy condition were returned to her three months later as she awaited trial. But a jury later found her innocent on the remaining 40 charges back in August. You're basically guilty until you're proven innocent. <laughs> Still, 39 of her horses were given to a rescue and some sold off before she could even stand trial. That's unconscionable to think that, that somebody can actually go to a trial and be found not guilty and still be guilty enough to have their, their property taken. Her attorney, James Cook, says she isn't alone. I had a client that had a number of chickens that were taken, which he immediately surrendered because the Humane Society was asking for 450 bucks a month per chicken. They're also looking for the same amount for dogs and horses. Come on. And he says Gingrich's case is exposing a major flaw in Colorado's system. It discriminates against uh, poor people by stealing their animals. The way they're going about this is absolutely unconstitutional. But the law is written otherwise. The premise of the law is that the taxpayer, you know, should not have to burden, you know, the cost of holding someone's animal. That's the basis of it. Animal law enforcement for the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region says if the owner is proven innocent, they're entitled to get their animals back if they've paid their care bonds. Is it perfect? No. I mean, no law you know, is perfect. That's why Gingrich's attorney is now calling on our lawmakers for change. This is a constitutional challenge to, you know, a statewide law of the state of Colorado. The laws are basically protecting everybody but the owners. Gingrich's attorney filed an appeal on the judge's decision and is expecting a decision in late April regarding the constitutionality of this law to get all 39 of her animals back. We will let you know what happens. Always watching out for you, Fremont County, Lena Howland, News 5.